there's a water cycle. You know, drinking water becomes your wastewater, and wastewater is treated, but it is discharged into surface water, and then it becomes your drinking water again. Some of the major concerns today in wastewater treatment um, is the removal of pathogenic microorganisms as well as the removal of what we call emerging contaminants and those are endocrine disrupting compounds, pharmaceuticals and personal care products. Optimization of wastewater treatment processes is another uh, very important area and it will be even more important in the near future. It's a problem everywhere emerging contaminants, anything that you use at home from pharmaceutical pills, antibiotics, birth control pills, um, to personal care products, you know, the shampoos and moisturizers, they all end up in our wastewater. Recent research shows that even in very small concentrations, parts per billion or parts per trillion, and in simple word, what that means is, is if you have a trillion dollars, one dollar is parts per trillion, so, so that's very small concentrations. They are still effective and they can, um, they can, they have effects on the aquatic microorganisms, feminization of fish, but there's also recent research that shows um, they, they might have effects on human health as well. Decrease in sperm count, counts, fertility, but there's some uh, recent findings that also indicate these products might be carcinogenic in the long run. Unfortunately, our current treatment plants are not designed to, to remove these contaminants. So um, it's not that they're not operated well, but they're simply not designed to re remove these emerging contaminants. But there are new processes such as advanced oxidation or membrane processes, or um, there are applications of nanotechnology on the removal of these compounds. Um, however, these technologies are typically expensive. Uh, majority of the treatment plants in Canada do not have these treatment technologies, but this is going to be a priority for the future. That depends on the province. Unfortunately, in Canada, we do not have a unified way of doing these things, and that also applies to even basic wastewater treatment. Uh, each province does their own thing. Europe is already taking steps towards eliminating or phasing out some of these compounds. It is definitely time to consider uh, regulations for the future. Removal of uh, emerging contaminants is an important area. Removal of pathogenic microorganisms is another important area. But also water reuse is really gaining momentum. And so there is treating the wastewater to a level that it is acceptable for reuse for several um, different purposes. And irrigation is the simplest one, but based on the level of treatment that you're employing, um, theoretically you can even reuse wastewater for, for drinking purposes. Source control is the key for pollution prevention. Uh, it is best to stop the pollution before it is introduced. Uh, and wastewater is a good example of that. For example, if you flush down your pharmaceutical pills, yes, it goes to the wastewater treatment plant, but then you are contaminating a much larger uh, volume of water. And it's very difficult for the treatment plant. And it's also very expensive uh, trying to remove those contaminants. 